I grew up listening to games on the radio, but I know that finding a job in broadcasting is going to be hard for me since I cannot see. But that did not stop him from seeing his dream come true and helping his radio audience see an Illini game in their mind's eye. If you tuned into the radio broadcast of the Illini basketball game today, you heard a new voice joining Brian Barnhart on that call. WCI3's Cole Hankey has Bryce Weiler's inspiring story from the sidelines at the State Farm Center. Bryce Weiler can't see the game in front of him. Out. St. Francis really hasn't stopped Illinois coming down the court. But he helps others see it clearly. Every rebound, every shot, and every dunk. Even if they are listening over the radio. I've really just enjoyed being able to analyze with, with Brian and just doing something that I always dreamed about being able to do. Weiler is blind, so growing up, he would turn on the radio to listen to his favorite teams. The lifelong Illini fan got to live out his dream today, calling a game over the radio with his role model. Bryce, good to have you with us. Hey, Brian, thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure to be able to be here with you. I've always wanted to commentate with, with Brian, and I grew up listening to the Fighting Illini, but Brian has really been the broadcaster who got me interested in being around sports with the pictures that he painted for me. Illini play-by-play -play veteran Brian Barnhart has known Weiler for nearly a decade. So blind, he is a blind sportscaster. He does a great job. Then I think 150 games, Bryce. He prepares himself really well. Uh, he studies both teams very hard. And he does his homework. And if, no matter if you can see or not, if you do your homework, uh, you know, you can do well in this field. Barnhart has seen it all on this court. But it's stories like Bryce's that remind him just how special his job can be. Thanks, you appreciate it. You, you don't want to take anything for granted. You know, we get to see the orange and the blue and the crowd and, you know, but radio is a different medium. Weiler doesn't let his impairment keep him from doing what he wants to do. And he hopes his call Saturday prove to others that they can do the same. Anytime that I'm able to commentate a game on the radio, I enjoy giving back for all the people who have given me opportunities. And it really shows people that no matter what someone's disability is, if someone is just willing to give them an opportunity, then they can be successful. Reporting in Urbana, I'm Cole Hankey. Something tells me his broadcasting career is just getting started. When Bryce isn't calling games, he spends his time advocating for companies to make sure they accommodate their workers' disabilities.